Hello there, it's me Rama and I'm introducing my Rama Melee plugin and this is a plugin that gives you a new component if you go to add components and look under the category called Rama you'll see Rama Melee plugin and that means that you've got a new weapon component that does melee collision basically entirely for you I went deep into the physics code in order to produce this plugin that gives you not only per bone accuracy but also total control over interaction with the environment choosing who collides with it and who doesn't and you can draw everything that's going on in the editor to see it and you can pick which parts of the weapon do damage so for example this big pole arm I'm gonna turn off its drawing for a second this pole arm has a really long handle which shouldn't do damage if it hits something that's my decision as the level of precision that I want for my melee plugin is that you can absolutely control that so using the physics asset you have these two bodies you have this cylinder the uh, spill and you have I'm at the spill <laughs> not a cylinder but you get the idea and then you have this box this is the box that should do damage because it corresponds to the axe head if you go over to the physics asset you can see this if I go under uh, weapons and halberd physics asset you'll see that these bodies do exist now I want to show you just how well my plugin matches the physics asset, so I'm going to add a new body. Going to add a new box, and let's just say for whatever reason we wanted to have collision at this tip right here. So we're just going to make this box. This is just a demo, really. And so there's that tip, right? So now I'm saving the physics asset. Let's go right back over to the the knight, the creature, <laughs> and look, it's there immediately. It's right there. And you could, if you wanted that to do, to do damage, we could make it do damage. So let's go under the damage map here. This is Rama Melee Weapon. This is Drawing. This is the damage map, and so far there's one body. And let's add another shape. Let's say shape 1. Alright, so this is body 0, because it's all one body in this case. And it's I'm adding another shape, and I can add the other shape as well. So now all three parts of this thing do damage. However, I don't think the handle should do damage when it, the weapon is swung. And I actually don't want that thing to do damage either. So now let's go in game and see what it looks like. Actually, I think I'm even going to delete. I want to show you the responsiveness of this, this, this system. I'm so pleased that it works directly with the physics asset. So I'm going to delete this shape. Let's go back and let's go in game. And look, it's not there anymore. It's back to the way it was before. And notice if I swing, oh no, turn uh, sweeps on. Notice how only the head is being swept to do damage. And the sweeping is actually continuous. It's actually not, um, it looks discrete, you, but those are just the start and the end points of each sweep. The actual sweeping is continuous, so it'll work no matter what the frame rate is. The line is just for your entertainment, that doesn't really do anything. So I'm actually sweeping shapes. I'm not sweeping a line trace, I'm sweeping the actual collision component. And I'm, I'm not actually sweeping the full physics asset, I'm actually sweeping only the shapes that you selected, so it's much more efficient than sweeping a complex physics asset. It's actually extremely efficient, because if you only want one shape to be swept, the sword blade, that's all that gets swept. Now, here you'll see that you can control the reaction of each object to the weapon in my using my plug-in weapon component, and the shield is blocking it. However, the lady's body is not Notice you see a printout in the upper left that says spine 2. You have per bone accuracy here. So there it says spine 3. Let's get this one. Come on. Upper, so upper arm, clavicle, so it's hitting the shoulder now, right? So you have per, oh, there was the head that hit the ponytail. You can see it over here too. That was the upper arm. I'm going to turn the traces off so you can see better. So notice I'm going for his head region. There, I got it. <laughs> so you see there, it's per bone accurate. It ignores the capsule component. You can control all that. If you want to hit capsules, you absolutely can. But if you want per bone control, you can have it. So this is the melee system. 
and I'm going to show you a little bit what this looks like in Blueprints. Let's head over there. So to, to do the setup for this, there's only a few simple steps. First of all, you have to have the character and have the animations. And then, since in this case it's a component, I'm attaching the com a component to the character. You could use weapon actors if you wanted to. The critical thing that you need to know in all cases is that there's this custom event delegate that I made called weapon hit. So this, these components are the Rama melee weapon components. You have to bind this event. You just drag off and you say bind. And I say bind on hit. See that? And that's this. And I'm calling it, so this is on hit. And then it triggers this event. And this is the event where all the logic is occurring that you just saw. So if, if, the, if the weapon hits a character mesh, if it's a mesh, then it does the animation for taking damage, otherwise it spawns an emitter indicating that the damage was blocked. Now I mentioned that you could absolutely control the interaction of the weapon with the environment. Here you're only hitting shields, the sword, and swords can hit each other. Let's use the other animation. So notice if I swing at terrain nothing happens, but you can change that really fast. The weapon system I gave you in this plugin is completely customizable. So let's make it so that halberds can also damage terrain. So if you look over in the settings for the Rama melee weapon, you'll see that in addition to the damage map, there's the melee trace object types. And it's an array, so you can add as many types as you want. So I'm going to add world static. You can choose any, including your own custom channels. I made a custom channel and that's the one that's currently being used by default, but now I'm going to add in world static because I want the weapon to interact with the terrain. So now watch. Oh, wrong weapon. <laughs> Again, you can do this per weapon if you want. So this, only the halberd now hits terrain. The sword still doesn't, but the halberd hits terrain and I get name. There's no bone name. The purple is the bone name. There's no bone name for the terrain. So Per bone accuracy, complete customization with the environment, and uh, it's sweeping, I'm sweeping shapes, I'm sweeping the physics asset shapes. Let's see that again. Sweeping these physics asset shapes, so it's not a line trace, it's got full volume to it, full body to it, and that means that it's going to be more realistic, more accurate, and a ver still very efficient because I only sweep the components that you choose using the damage map. So that's an intro to, intro to my Rama Melee Weapon plugin. Enjoy! <laughs>